Hello, Maria Luz. Hello, teacher. How are you? Excellent. And you? Good. Fine. Thanks. Yeah. Yes. So I'm tired, but I'm fine. I'm tired. Yes. Yes. Too much work. And therefore, by the travel, yeah. I oh. went to Ilovasco and it was raining. To Ilovasco? Mm. Yes. Why did you go to Ilovasco? Oh, in Ilovasco, we have a, um, um, I don't know how do you say it, um, facultad for the, the, the university. The branch? The branch, okay. Mm -hmm. We have a bench, okay. And, and I went to to uh, review the, the reports or the accountant, yeah. Or um, projects, yes. Okay. Mm. Mm. And you have to go every week? No, I only go to, to there twice in the, in a month okay twice a month yes twice a month oh that's good yes <laughs> only twice a month okay oh teacher congratulations me tomorrow is teacher's day okay ah uh, yes 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 yeah. <laughs> tomorrow is my day <laughs> it's your day but you don't have vacation <laughs> no <laughs> because only two classes left so it's not okay it's not logical to to have a break for, and then do the class on friday or something like that okay mm -hmm. but in the rest of the day in the morning and the afternoon do you have classes yes no 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 i continue no. i continue okay. i have normal classes okay mm -hmm. so yeah it's not uh huh, and but in in some places they have uh, for example this week um, they have vacation right for uh, for Teachers Day or for others but no 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 I I continue okay mm -hmm. it's good but that way is better mm -hmm. okay you don't have celebration <laughs> no well maybe. Maybe we're going to have something special in the office or something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. But only that. Okay. Maida, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm good. Thanks for asking. What about you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Uh, and what did you do today, Maida? Uh, today I have been cooking. All day. Cooking. Cooking. Yes, cooking. Oh, why? Uh, because it's my today is my day off of week, and I need to cook a lot for my family. <laughs> oh, okay. So, in your day off is the day that you that you cook. <laughs> yes. Uh, because my family wanted to uh, tamales. The family wanted to what? Tamales. 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 Wow. Mm. Uh, so, yes. So with tamales, you have to do a lot of work. Yes. I, ha I have never made tamales. I don't know. But I imagine it's, uh, it's a lot of work or no? Yes, it's a lot of work, but it's are easy. Really? Uh, yes. It's a lot of a lot of time. But it's oh. easy. Oh okay. Okay. I, I, I can't actually prepare tamales. <laughs> no, me either. Me either. <laughs> hey, my mother teach me teach me thought. many uh thought many times yes. ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never, I don't, I don't know how to make the typical Salvadorian food. No tamales, no, uh, 
I don't know, no pupusas, no I don't know how to make anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But it's okay. One day, one day, I'm going to learn. How do you say at all, teacher? At all. Yes. I believe it's the same because it's the name of the drink. The same. Okay. Yes, it's okay. the name. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's like an horchata. Horchata is an horchata. Oh, a a soda is a soda. Soda in English, soda in Spanish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only some other, only some specific ones, like, for example, milk or something like this, but mm -hmm. most of them are the same. Okay. Thanks. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started. Today, we're going to finish Unit 4. Make sure everything is clear, and then hopefully be able to advance to do our midterm, our final exam. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's start off by doing a listening. This is four point eight listening exercise. Okay. We're gonna listen, and we're gonna hear people talking about dreams. The question is, whose dream do you think is scarier? Ready? Yes. Listen to Kate and Sergio talk about their recurring dreams. Whose dream do you think is scarier? Hey, Sergio, do you ever have recurring dreams? Yeah, sure. Why, Kate? Well, I had one last night. I'm back in high school, and in my dream, the school looks mostly the same as it did, but much bigger. The weird thing is, although I'm 23 years old, I'm back in high school with all these 15-year-olds. It's very embarrassing. No one seems to notice that I'm much older and shouldn't be there in the first place. But still, it's very uncomfortable. I keep thinking, what am I doing here? Well, I know it must be the end of the school year because everyone is talking about final exams. And that's when it hits me that I've forgotten to go to math class all year. And there's a big math test today. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I'm totally unprepared. So I start to go to class, but then I realize I can't find it. No matter how far, how many hallways, I just can't find it. I know I'm late for class, and this really worries me. Finally, I wind up in my math class, but it's almost over. So I've missed most of the test, and I think I'm going to fail or something. Basically, that's the dream. That's a bad one. Do you have that dream a lot? Sometimes. I guess it means that I'm worried or overwhelmed about something that is happening in my life. Yeah, I sometimes have this bad dream. I guess it's really a nightmare. I'm in danger, but I'm not sure from what, and I can't move or scream or anything. I can feel something coming closer and closer to me. You know, it's really strange, because usually in the dream, I'm exactly where I am in real life, like in my own bed, in my bedroom, and everything is very realistic. The only part that is dreamlike is that I can't move. Sometimes I can't even open my eyes, or I can only open one eye. Usually I have to alert someone or possibly save someone, although the person often changes. Anyway, I can't do anything because I can't move. It's really terrifying. Yeah, it sounds terrifying. So what do you think it means? I'm not sure, but you know, I think the dream means that I'm feeling there's something in my life that I can't control, although I feel like I should be able to. Once I had the dream when one of my friends was very sick and I just felt completely helpless. I hate feeling that way. Yeah, I know what you mean. Okay. So whose dream was scarier? Sergio. 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 Okay. What was Sergio's dream? Excuse me, teacher. What was the dream? What did he describe? It was a nightmare. Um, he can't move. Mm -hmm. um, some, somebody is... Um, near to to him approximately um 
I, I, I remember that. Okay, good. Good. What about the uh, Kate? What is Kate's dream? Kate's dream is um, in Barrow's dream. <laughs> on Barrow's dream, uh, he, is, uh, uh, he was in she? her school. She mm -hmm. was in her school, um, but she remember she uh, remember now she in the in the in the dream she was fifteen years old and she has twenty three years years old uh, and she didn't remember the mathematics some some sometimes I don't know no 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 that's no, good no, Mariela yeah. is. Okay. Whatever you understand, no problem. That's yeah. good. good, good, good. Okay. All right. Now we're going to listen again. And now we want to answer the questions about the dreams. So listen, and we want to answer, okay? okay. Which, what is in each person's dream? So here we're going to read and we're going to put, is it Sergio or Kate? Sergio or Kate, okay? Hey, Sergio, do you ever have recurring dreams? Yeah, sure. Why, Kate? Well, I had one last night. I'm back in high school, and in my dream, the school looks mostly the same as it did, but much bigger. The weird thing is, although I'm 23 years old, I'm back in high school with all these 15-year-olds. It's very embarrassing. No one seems to notice that I'm much older and shouldn't be there in the first place, but still... It's very uncomfortable. I keep thinking, what am I doing here? Well, I know it must be the end of the school year because everyone is talking about final exams. And that's when it hits me that I've forgotten to go to math class all year. And there's a big math test today. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I'm totally unprepared. So I start to go to class, but then I realize I can't find it. No matter how far, how many hallways, I just can't find it. I know I'm late for class, and this really worries me. Finally, I wind up in my math class, but it's almost over. So I've missed most of the test, and I think I'm going to fail or something. Basically, that's the dream. That's a bad one. Do you have that dream a lot? Sometimes. I guess it means that I'm worried or overwhelmed about something that is happening in my life. Yeah, I sometimes have this bad dream. I guess it's really a nightmare. I'm in danger, but I'm not sure from what, and I can't move or scream or anything. I can feel something coming closer and closer to me. You know, it's really strange, because usually in the dream, I'm exactly where I am in real life, like in my own bed, in my bedroom, and everything is very realistic. The only part that is dreamlike is that I can't move. Sometimes I can't even open my eyes, or I can only open one eye. Usually I have to alert someone or possibly save someone, although the person often changes. Anyway, I can't do anything because I can't move. It's really terrifying. Yeah, it sounds terrifying. So what do you think it means? I'm not sure, but... You know, I think the dream means that I'm feeling there's something in my life that I can't control, although I feel like I should be able to. Once I had the dream when one of my friends was very sick, and I just felt completely helpless. I hate feeling that way. Yeah, I know what you mean. Okay. Let's this is the end of CD1. Sorry, uh, let's take a look. Who feels in danger and can't move or do anything? Sergio. 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 Okay. Who is back mm -hmm. in high school and has to take the test and is not prepared for it? Kate. Kate. Good. Oh. Oops. No. Yep. Whose dream means they're feeling overwhelmed or worried about something? Kate. 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 Okay, Kate. And who then number four? Sergio. 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 Hey, Sergio. All right. Very good. Let's take a look. 
Excellent. Sergio, Kate, Kate, Sergio. All right. Any questions? No. That's it. Uh, teacher. Yes. How do you say um, paralysis del sueño? Sleep paralysis. Excuse me? Sleep? Sleep paralysis. Correct. Uh, it's, it's, it's seems Sergio uh, suffer from sleep paralysis. Okay. Yes, it's true. It, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very common uh, to people have a sleep paralysis. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had sleep paralysis? No, no, I don't remember. No. Um, sometimes, no, but no, exactly. No, a little different, or how? Yes, a little different, yes. A little oh. different. Okay, okay, good. Okay. Now, we're going to take a moment, and we have two links that we're going to talk with our partners about sleep and dreams, okay? This is link number one. Make sure you have link number one. And then, one moment. And this is link number two. So the idea is describing dreams. How do you feel? What happens? Many different questions about the dreams, okay? Everybody have access to the links? Yes. yes. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Hang on. Only I put it there. Okay. So let's make a, let's see, we got, it's an act. all right. Let's make our groups and then ask and answer with our, uh, with our partners. Okay. Okay. One moment, let me put the time and we go. Milton, do you have problems? Okay, let's try again, Milton.
Okay. Any questions, any words, vocabularies, things you're not sure about? I have a question, teacher. Mm -hmm. How do you say in English deja vu? Is, that is English. Deja vu. It's actually French, but yes. Deja vu. Deja vu. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, you say it's deja vu in Spanish. It's, it's, I don't. I don't listen. <laughs> That's the one. It's, it's okay. Sensation teachers is the I, I don't know. Sensation. Okay. And the Yabu is a sensation that sometimes oh. you you have lived this this um situation, but oh. Oh, right. it's only uh, in your in your mind. <laughs> okay. Only it's, sensation. It's not the intuition. No, 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 no. no, no. No, okay. I, I think that the that Yabu, the happen in reality is the, the, the main uh, cerebro. I don't remember what they say, cerebro. Brain. Brain. The, the brain. brain, the brain, when um, uh, take uh, an activity and the, the, the brain can to finish that activity, you think that that activity that activity lives before but in reality is that the brain doesn't uh, finish the activity and you say you think that is a deja vu but in reality is not not uh, right but i don't know <laughs> okay for okay. me the deja vu in in spanish is 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 uh Volver a vivir o a volver a experimentar. Okay, live again. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. So you believe that deja vu is repeat again? Repeat again, yeah. Okay. okay. But it's only a sensation. Okay, it's only. Okay. <laughs> Maybe, yes. Everybody have different belief, but okay. Do the important is that when we talk about dreams, the, the dreams you repeat or no? Um, but the Yapu is not a dream. No, it's not a dream. No, Some people have repetitive, repetitive dreams. Okay. No, no, the Yapu like is not a dream. It's not a dream. No, I know it's not, I know it's not a dream because you, you all, the, um, actually are are living the situation but yeah. i'm talking about dreams repeat repetitive dreams when you have uh, the same dream oh. one night two nights yes. three nights four nights and so and so and so it is it, that's weird too yeah i i never experiment this but some people i i heard some people yes they have two three days the same dream I don't know why when I was a child, I held, uh, I held the same dream about five times. Ah. <laughs> I, 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 I had a dream with, uh, with a clown. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> you, movie, you can have it. a interruption or dreams and you finish your dreams later. Mm -hmm. No, it, it was the same. It was the same story. Oh, well, every every night. Uh -huh. No, no, continue the story. Oh, repeat, repeat. repeat. It was the same story. story. Repeat the story. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, I so think sometimes change. So even. <laughs> okay, okay. Cap, cap, uno, cap, dos. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. How do you say pesadilla? Nightmare. 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 Teacher, Nightmare. I have a question about it. Yes. I have heard the expression bad dreams and nightmares. What's the difference? One is a bad dream, and the other is something horrible. That is the nightmare. Oh, okay. So a bad dream, a bad dream, I forgot to do my 
my project at work. I went late to the office. This is a bad dream. A nightmare is someone tried to kill me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Or, or I killed someone in my dream. It's more terrific. Uh, no, terrific is good. Terrific is excellent. Ah, okay. Oh, sorry. No, no, it's, no. It's terrible. It's terrible. 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 Next terrible. level. Terrible. terrible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Now we're going to read a little bit about some dreams. Okay. So now that we talked about it, ah, we're going to see a little bit of things on the article. This is from 4.9. I don't like the picture, but you can tell me if, if you can see okay. Let's take a look here. 4.9, to sleep or not to sleep? Can you see? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. We have one, two, three, I think it's five, three, four, five, five. yes, five. five. Okay, who is going to be number one? Me. Okay, Sirhan, number two? Me, hey, teacher. Okay, Marielos, thank you. Number three? Okay, I am. Alex, thank you. Number four? Okay, Milton, and the last one, number five? Me teacher. All right, Miguel, thank you. All right, let's go. To sleep or not to sleep? Okay, to sleep or not to sleep. In the day before electricity, people didn't worry much about the sleep. They usually went to bed a couple of hours after sunset and walk and sunrise. After all, there wasn't much to do in those days after the sun went down. But the came the electric line bulb, and now we have sat 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 satellite, satellite? satellite satellite television, satellite television. The, the internet 24 hours convenience stores and longer hours at work. How much can we sleep? How much shall we sleep? Okay. Like it or not. Many of us are sleeping less on average. In 1920, in 1910, most Americans slept nine hours at night. That dropped to 7.5 hours by 1975. And 2002, a study by the National Sleep Foundation found that average American got on only 6.9 hours. The news in even worse for people who work the night, the night uh, shift, okay? They sleep an average of just five hours. Wow, only sleep five hours. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are we sleeping at all? Not if you believe in the old for formula of eight hours of rest. Eight hours of war and eight hours of play. On the other hand, Norman, Norman is telling um, a British scientist. Scientist? Scientist. Mm -hmm. I think who is student sleep. Believe people, believe, sorry, believe people sleep means very, very. Some people need as many as uh, 11 hours, but others need as few as three. How much do you really need? Yes. To find out. Find out. Uh, sample, sample sleep until you wait uh, Naturality mm -hmm. without the hell of mm -hmm. an alarm clock mm -hmm. that you sleep near. Okay. Meanwhile, other science and pharmaceutical research on searching for new ways to keep us awake longer. Some are developed che chemical that are safer and more powerful than caffeine, the chemical found in coffee and tea. 
one experimental draw CX760, keep the laboratory monkeys working happily, 30, and a curtain for 36 hour future branch out may allow people to separate, stay awake for several days straight. One group of researchers is studying a gen found in some truth fields that left them get by, by one tear. They usually among of sleep. Another group is even working on an electric switch that instantly wake up up a sleeping brain. The implications of this research are two. On the one hand, this call leads to a world where we work longer and longer hours with leads and least slightly less sleep time to travel with read volunteer and spend time with family to sleep or not sleep that might soon be the question okay thank you guys very much um i appreciate everybody reading very nicely there are many different words in here the important is that we understand the words and we try to improve our pronunciation. First, let's look at the words. Which words are new? Me, teacher. Okay. And the second line. Uh, after sunset, sunset. Mm -hmm. What is what is this word? Sunset. Yeah. Sunset is when the sun goes down. Sunrise is when the sun comes up in the morning. Okay. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Uh, where you can uh, read Norman Stanley, uh, a British scientist who studies sleep, believes people's sleep needs body. What's the meaning of body? Is variety. Body or uh, body yes. or no, very. Very, 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 and it's for variety. It's different. Maybe for you is five. Maybe for me is seven, and for others is three. This is the variety. This is the idea for very. Okay. So they have different needs of sleep. Correct. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Teacher is a uh, keep the laboratory monkeys working happily. Is good happily? Happily. Yeah, happily? Yes. Okay. Teacher, excuse me. Yes. And uh, in the meaning of future breakthroughs. Ah, uh, uh, like future discoveries. This is the future breakthrough. Breakthroughs. Yes. Yes, it is it, like uh, innovation that we will know in the future. Correct. That is a breakthrough. The breakthrough is the innovation or the new discovery. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Teacher. <laughs> yes, yes, tell me. Uh, I'm not clear about the, the word body. What is the correct pronunciation? Very. 
V, uh, no I, B, I, I no B. I, mm -hmm. I confuse with the all, another word, very uh, of a uh, quantity. This is very. Um, and the and the pronunciation pronunciation for sat satellite is satellite. 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 Teacher, yes. teacher, sorry. And the phrasal verb, I don't know his phrasal, but in stay away for several days straight. This is straight. Wait. It's Wait. not stopping. So you stay awake and no sleeping. Not, not, oh. Yes, okay. like continue. Straight is like continue. Okay. It's okay. Teacher, yeah. I don't remember yeah. what is drop. What is? Drop dropped the past or participle drop with ed dropped. dropped. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is uh, I don't remember the like the the pencil or the phone when you have a phone or a pen you drop. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. The other words are okay? Yes. Okay. Let's take a look. So now, what are we going to do with our partners? Now that we read here, we're going to answer all of the questions, the five questions with information from the reading. Okay. So with your partner, do you want to answer the questions with information from the reading? Okay. Okay, Tisha. All right.
Okay, let's try number one. Six point nine. Okay, good. Number two. Uh, Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Not Not good. Three. Electricity. 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 Four. Monkeys. 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 And the last, number five. Travel with family. Travel with family. Travel with family. Okay, good. Let's take a look. Excellent. Very nice. Hey, any questions? Okay. So, in this moment, now that we have it, we, we, we're clear about the idea. We finish unit four. Tomorrow we are prepared to do the final test. Yes? Okay. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Great. Tomorrow complete. Oof. Excellent. In this moment, we're going to talk and continue with our topics, with our partners and describing. I want you to describe a dream, a dream that you remember, a dream that maybe was repetitive, a dream that was a nightmare. Talk about a dream that you remember and ask and answer your partner's questions. Okay? All right. We already had the questions before. Now you create your own questions and you describe your own dreams to your partner. Okay.
Okay. Are there Teacher. any? Yes. Oh, uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it no was like a, like a, a good dream. I I am beginning Javu. to Javu. yes. <laughs> I am beginning to, <laughs> to to tell to my classmates the good dream and finish <laughs> and I wake up. <laughs> it's the typical, right? I know, ring 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 the alarm. I know it's a good dream. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for connecting today. Today is, we finished unit four. Tomorrow we have the, the final exam. And then Thursday is our last day. Okay? Okay. Thank, thank you, teacher. teacher. Thank you, guys. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye -bye. tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye. Have a nice night. You too. Have a good night. Miguel, Milton, did you have any questions? No, teacher. Thanks. Okay, good, good, good.